Okay guys, welcome back for another episode. So, you know, you guys always hear about these barnyard finds and stuff like that, and you find these holy grill of find. Well, this one bike was brought into us. I mean, the thing looked like it was fished out of a river. It actually looked like it was fished out of a ditch. It was pretty beat. The chain was so stiff that it kept the shape. The tires were like just crumbled up. It was really bad. I honestly didn't think that it was savable. Uh, I told the customer like, it looks like this thing might be one of those things that's gonna be scrapped. He had more confidence in me than I did. So he just said, you know what? Why don't you do your magic? I've seen you do it. And I was like, I don't know, dude. This thing needs more than magic. So we took it in, sat around a couple of days just staring at it. it really, like, I don't think anybody wanted to touch it. We got our hand dirty and uh, why don't you guys sit down and then watch us tackle this thing. It was, it, 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 it was pretty scary. I thought we were gonna come out with some infection. Okay, guys, we got to go and we got to restore this guy. 79 Mongoose team model. Used to be blue. Look at this. Would you look at it? The tire's hard, guys. I don't want to hurt my fingernail. By yeah, the that. tire's like like about... You guys hear that? So the strip down, we're stripping it down, taking everything apart, and then we're going to clean everything up. We pack the bearings, replace the BB chain, of course, redo the spokes. Brake cable. Yep, this is what we do. Every time we get something like this, we just strip it down. Strip, strip guys. And then after that, it's the cleaning process and start replacing all the messed up parts. Beautiful work. <laughs> guys, look at this dropout. Mangled, blown out. So, we're gonna have to go, we're gonna have to hammer it back, but we don't wanna like smash the metal. We just wanna ease in there, a little, a little love taps, a little love tap, you know? Get it straightened out. A lot of work, a lot of work. Oh my, hey, hey, what did I tell you about coming back in here? Get that, I gave you a gift. Oh, okay, okay, you're okay, welcome. Okay, he's cool, he's cool. Believe it or not, this has only been about 20 minutes and look how much the bike we got teared out. But, of course, that's the easy part. Look at this. This thing seized on here, so, what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to save this bolt, because this bolt right here, you know, let me ask your opinion. This bolt's the key part right here. I can find another nut right here. So I'm gonna try to cut this thing off, okay? So bear with me, okay? So Ricardo's job is to get this thing out. Usually what we do is we unscrew this, see how it's a little bit high? Ricardo, hit it, hit it down. Oh my God, that thing just sacked me, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, Ooh, there, there we go, go. You hear it, you hear it? I mean, you can look at it from his expression. It's... <laughs> it sucks because when there was aluminum posts there in was, there, it, uh, it, it, fused, there was, it, it fuses. There was nothing left of that bolt, dude. You can very much look at everybody's facial expression of what we've been through. Even John, you know? Even Hash. Even jo Jehovah bit Witness. Even though the wedge wasn't in there, but the rust and all that, the seat posts, Nah, we're not gonna even attempt to do that. Aluminum seat post on steel. I mean, John gave us a bunch of like, Bill Nye, science guy, that, but none of us here are smart enough to understand what the hell he's talking about, okay? All we know here is we're with the arm and hammer mechanics. We just arm and hammer. There we have it, finally. Finally. Okay, we're gonna dissect the, uh, the headset, and then uh, we're gonna go and uh, decontaminate this thing. It is so I asked Tree to take my stuff, my bullet, don't let it get fucking sold. Crank back on. And mind you, we're rebuilding this thing so it could still pedal, it could still ride. New bearings are smooth, but the finish, we're not going to refinish it. Some of you guys might think, oh, dude, hell no. We only do what the customer wants. I actually like the patina, okay? No wrong or right, guys. Your bike, as long as we get it tuned and riding good. A mistake a lot of people do, this is, this right here, this piece goes in first. What are the technicality for this? I said this is just a cone washer, a dish, whatever the hell it is. But it goes in first, it looks like this. See that? Okay, somebody give me a technicality name for it. Come on, okay, a legal name for it. And after that goes in, you gotta put one of these in. What that does is that when it goes in, 
and this piece goes right over it, you could tighten this and that piece won't move because it's rubbing on that washer. Gotta have that piece in. I know I'm not giving you guys the, the technical name, but you guys could already see my lead right there. So this goes in. Ricardo. 30. And watch, as I tighten it, watch the other piece on the inside. It doesn't move. Lock it in. There you go. Okay guys, you know our technique is nothing concrete. It's all, we wing it. But check this out. Drop out, look how flare. And look at this, it fits perfectly in this Wait, pole. Wait, that means it is technically concrete. Just shows you guys, there's nothing rocket scientist to this. This metal over here is perfect, hold it. Okay, boom, come over here. I'm, just, I'm gonna give a little bit more detail, but look, check this out, okay? It's good, but guess what? I'm gonna go in, I'm, I'm actually gonna shape it a little bit more, but we fundamentally got it good, okay? Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, our trusty vise, okay? We gotta make this thing flat, okay? Everything is always improvised. Oh, look at that. Work a little bit, it work a little bit. Okay, let's try the top. If you guys wanna try this at home, it might be a little bit hard because uh, we have a flipper specialist. Yep, that's what I do around here. He just flips. Flipper McGee. McGee? What the hell's McGee? Okay, flip it around. Flipper, professional flipper. Yep. Okay, you guys see, it's a little bit more straight compared to how jacked up it was. Okay, again, look at this one. Come on. See that, guys? Again, look at the bottom. Look how, look how sideways, Max, look. Okay, put this thing in. Let's put it right here, let's, yeah, right there, right there. Right there, brother, right there. Huh, huh? But there's still a little bit, so what we're gonna do, Not bad, right? Not bad. Okay, keep in mind, the customer did not pay us to fully restore like how we did those other ones where we kind of tack it and sand it. He just said, do whatever you can. So I'm not saying that since we didn't get paid, we're gonna do the bare minimum, but you know, our time is money and we got a bunch of other stuff. So we're gonna try to do this as best as we can. The hub's rebuilt. Video, it doesn't go focus or what, but our camera guy's not here, AKA Alfredo. So we're kind of winging it for him. We're busy here. Usually when Alfredo comes by, he'll film and we work, but right now we're working doing this. Alf is really busy, so we're gonna just have to do whatever we can. Bear, these things have been soaked, degreased, and repacked with new bearings. Yes, you might, you guys might look at it and go, wait, 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 it looks beat. Well, customer didn't want to pay to get anything re-anodized, refinished, just get it rolling. So that's what we did. This is all done. Crank's all done, headset's all done. We're gonna go ahead and get the wheel laced up. Uh, we're, spokes are cut, spokes are cut. Rim is clean. Okay, I know stuff's laying everywhere. There's the old stuff, new stuff. Let's piece this guy together. So what are you doing? So we got a little tool we made. Take some scotch Bright spoke, bend it around, twist it up, and uh, taking out all this little rust in there making it hard to put that shaft stem in there. So cleaning all that rust out, burn it out. Yeah, it's nothing high tech, you know, it's just like, like a little, little thing. Cause you know, as you guys saw earlier, it was so hard to get out. So there's a lot of grime, a lot of dirt, a lot of like rust blisters. You just clean it out. You know, it's just a one of those little DIY tip. It's not, not, not nothing crazy secrets. Let's see, so let's see this thing. Down. better <laughs> yeah so see how it's a little bit hard so just gonna clean up a little bit more okay coming together same day restoration guys you know what we don't got time to let bikes sit around we get stuff done here
Wow. Wheels in. Brand new chrome spokes. Drop out fits good. I adjust the brakes, adjust the brake shoes. We're tying up the bike. So what else are we doing, Max? Dialing in the front brake. Found this. This came off of one of the Race Inc. I wish Race Inc. would actually sell these seats. It's pretty dope. Put this on here. Max, tune this. Did a great job in the rear. Ricardo, give it a good crank. Look at that, guys. Sheesh. I mean, besides the patina of the, the bike, which the customer wanted, but we got new spokes on this. The crank's all cleaned up. Keep in mind, guys, the customer wanted like this. He just want, he wanted all the important parts to be new, like the brakes and the wheels, you know, bearings. But the color-wise, he didn't really care. So, yeah, once Max gets this thing all tuned up, I'll be all, all done. We're going to go and roll around, and uh, I'll do a final walkthrough with you guys. I'll tell you guys now, I appreciate Alf a lot more for filming because ever since he's not here to film and we all, we all have to grab the camera and film every once in a while, you can see we got nothing done. So you guys give Alf a shout out. I think some of you guys don't appreciate him. There you go. Both calipers moving. It's good. Okay, guys, so uh, we're pretty much done. You know, I don't know if you guys ever see me use this in these little squirt bottles. But it's a kind of our own little cleaning formula. So, I mean, this thing does magic, guys. You know, you, you just put a little bit and you wipe. All the dirt comes off. And you guys remember the bike. It was very dirty. But then when we use our, our special formula, we wipe it. And we're like, oh, God. It get all shiny. The, the spokes became bad. Okay. I, and some of you guys are like, no way. You guys, you guys are like on something. No. The, Coincidentally, we have two. That was the one we we built up and we saved yesterday. This is the one customer brought in because uh, customer wanted uh, brakes. Uh, he wanted, he had some red line flights on it, but he said, you know what? It doesn't look right. Um, I got some of this, you know? And he wants to put the, the one piece back on and then change the blue tires to black. So this is this is another build. I think I did a cover on this. <laughs> I just kidding. I was just kidding about the about the little solution. Okay, we're gonna do a breakdown on this thing. Let's go outside. Yeah, just ignore. Damn. Just ignore this. Ignore that. <laughs> yeah, we just have random like stupid collection bikes to lay all the place. All right, lady and gents. So what we have here is very similar to the one you saw. It's like a '79. Uh, Mongoose team edition. Why this is actually the original blue, original fork. If you guys saw the before and the after picture, literally the customer said that <laughs> I found this on the side of the road up in LA. I don't know how long it's been sitting there. I personally thought it was fished out of a, like a river, but the, the customer did not want to restore it. He said, first and foremost, I want to get the, the thing being able to move. So in order to do that, we need a new chain, which is just a Cam C410, very basic chain, same chain that comes on like a beach cruiser or anything like that. This is his old crank, didn't want to refinish it, but we did put new bearings. Because the new bearing, the bearing, the old bearing was just beat. Pedals, good. We put new bolts in, the Sugino bolts, because they all was rusted. Second of all, the wheels, we went and repacked the bearings. Clean it out. Yeah, some of you guys might be like, oh, it's rusty. Keep in mind, guys, they, he did not want it all that refinish. We wanted the bearings to roll good. Rolls good. Smooth. Spokes, new spokes. The rim is original. New tube and tire. Then, of course, we tied it up with some new MX-1000, of course. Front and rear. He wanted to change it up a little, and he wanted to put blue brake lever and silver. Okay, headset, my my favorite, my suggestion, the Tanji Bear Call. For the money, it's still one of the best one out there. And that's pretty much it. Original grips that he brought in. 
bars, stem, fork, all that. So I forgot guys, the seat, the racing seat, ties, ties it all together. The seat post, it isn't gonna come out. It is not gonna come out. It won't come out. And I know you guys see some stuff in the past we've done, but judging by how beat up the frame was, we're not gonna do that and compromise the frame cracking. Bike itself, let's ride it. Exactly what the customer wanted. He wanted a bike and he wanted to keep the, the original patina, which he got, and it rolled, it stopped, good. Okay, at this moment, I'm gonna let the cameraman go through it and look at it. Guys, keep in mind, don't cringe at how dirty it is. A lot of that stuff won't come off. So this is, this is one of those scenarios where it just shows you guys that you don't need everything new. The crank, pedals, stem, bars, all the original stuff. You don't need it new. All you need is the vital stuff new. You see even the rims. So there's a lot of stuff that's salvageable, a lot of stuff that's not. Some stuff just needs to be clean. This one, yeah, so, some of you guys, before you guys comment, listen carefully. The customer did not want us to restore it and did not want us to go into a deep clean. And of course, that's cost money. Didn't want to pay for more work. He just wants to get it rolling. That's exactly what we did. What we did. Comment in what you guys think. Comment in that, you know, you guys surprised that we, we were able to resurrect this from what it was originally. You know what, inside here, I think we actually pulled out, there was a spider that came out. You know, Ethan ran off like a little girl. But uh, there you guys have it. And uh, hopefully Alf, wherever you're at, you know, you come back and uh, film this and Wow, look at that, Max. Look at that, look at that Integra. Damn. Guys, have you seen an Integra more clean than that? Okay, guys, I'm out of here. I got a lot of work. Uh, customers come pick this up. Later.